Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor and today I'm launching the updated version of my personality test, Eric Dor's Flow Type Indicator. So with this new test, with this new update comes the 36 question personality test meant to guard your personality type with high accuracy. Now instead of just being a regular personality test, this is a flow type test. So what this means is this personality test will measure your personality type based on who you are in a state of flow. How do I do that? Well, I ask you questions about what you enjoy, what you like, what you value, compared to what you struggle with, what you find difficult, and what you dislike. So this personality test is unique compared to other personality tests. Other personality tests will quickly ask you questions about how you appear, what other people think about you, and how you tend to act in different situations. Through this, your personality is a lot more complex than that. You can act differently in many different situations, and your result on these personality tests will vary depending on what time of the day it is, or how you're feeling about yourself at this very moment. Now if you haven't already, I recommend you take the link down below and check out my personality test. With this test, with this result, you will get accurate insight into your personality type and how <coughs> you perceive and how you experience different things. You will get an accurate insight into your personal values, interests, hobbies and passions. You will get a sense of how you tend to work and how you tend to think and approach things. How you prefer to think, how you prefer to approach things. With the personality test, I've come up with 36 questions meant to track down 16 unique archetypes or cognitive functions. And each personality type is a mix of four of these archetypes, four of these cognitive functions. Now, if you didn't know already, an archetype is a mythical representation of your personality type or one of your personality traits as can be understood by history. It can be a literary figure, it can be a known metaphor or personality type that we can all recognize from our society and from our history and from our fiction books and from different stories that we've heard and passed on to each other throughout this life. I use archetypes because they represent pure ideas of every person personality type in any given situation. They represent and they give us and paint a clear picture of how different people might think or approach or value different situations and they show that we value different things, we think differently, we perceive the world differently, we have a different consciousness, our experiences are different from one another, we all have different personalities. Take question 1 as an example. I enjoy going to new places and trying new things. This question is meant to track for the explorer. Take question 2 though. I enjoy performing and entertaining others. Well, then you're looking at the archetype of the performer or extroverted sensing. Take question 3. I enjoy pursuing inner depth, creativity and originality. Well, then you're looking at introverted intuition or the philosopher. Then look at question number four. I enjoy keeping a high score and keeping track of my productivity. Well, then you're looking at extroverted thinking, the ruler. Look at question number five. I love seeing things from many different perspectives. Well, that's the rebel, that's the catalyst, that's the creative type. Now, question number six. I like creating structure and coming up with methods to solve problems. Well, are you looking at thinking, judging, the decision-making function? Then question 7, I love having a logical argument or discussion. Then you're looking at the inventor or the competitive type, thinking and perceiving. Question 8, I enjoy having a caregiving and supporting role, that's feeling and judging. Now what I do is I divide each personality type into two and two letters. I check different letter types. So I check out combinations between introversion and feeling. Or I check for combinations between introversion and thinking. Then I check for combinations between thinking and judging. Or intuitive judging. Or introverted sensing and extroverted sensing. So studying combinations of different personality traits, I get a pretty advanced, nuanced idea of every different personality type in flow. What are the cornerstones, the cognitive functions, the archetypes that make up your whole? Your personality type, INFP or ESTJ or whatever it may be, is an umbrella term meant to study different personality traits latent inside all of us. Your personality type is your flow type. 
namely how you act when you have full control over yourself and what you are doing, when you feel motivated about what you do, when you have energy and an interest in the activity that you're engaged in, and when you feel calm and steady and stable and consistent in what you do. Yeah, what follows on the flow type test is the opposite of your flow type is your stress type. Yes, you have a personality type in flow and you have a personality type in stress. You have certain actions and activities that will put you in flow and activities that will put you in stress. So learning to recognize and tell the difference between the two can be crucial to understanding your own motivation and making decisions that will be in line with your motivation. A confusion is we can act in favor of extrinsic or external sources of motivation rather than our own personal inner motivation. That means we will do something because other people want us to, not because we personally enjoy it. What are the consequences of that? Well, we slowly drain ourselves of energy and control. We perceive ourselves as having less control over our lives and our decisions. We perceive ourselves as gradually feeling increasingly demotivated in what we do. We find ourselves having less and less energy to keep going in what we are doing. And we find ourselves to feel more agitated and frustrated and unsteady and turbulent in what we are doing and in how we act. Now, of course, I mean for this personality test to be the most accurate personality test on the internet. And that's why I've spent years building this and why I spend time on and on again to look at the test results and to look at how the questions are performing. This is my ongoing study into the archetypes and into human motivation. With this, I get the insight that I can use to make videos on the different personality types so that I can help understand you better. So, because of this, what I'm asking you to do now is Take my poll down below and let me know how the test is doing. How do you feel about your result? How did you feel about the questions? How was the test for you? Now let other people with this know if you like this test or not. Let other people know whether this test worked for you or not. And let's try to apply some critical thinking and some qualitative and quantitative feedback to get and spread good initiative in the world of personality psychology. Now there's lots of tests out there. Shouldn't we be doing something to critically evaluate these tests and to determine which ones work and which don't? That's my question for today. Let me know in the comments down below what type did you get? How did you feel about your result? Take my poll, take my test and thanks everyone for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.